previously. Emperor Romanos conquered new territories for his empire. They are now celebrating in Constantinople. Romanos summoned his war council. The emperor's generals explained the situation. In southern Italy, the Norman Duke Robert Guiscard had just captured the Roman city of Bergamo. He and his brother now completed their conquest of southern Italy and Sicily. In Bari, Robert Guiscard slaughtered their local Roman garrison and burned a large chunk of the city. Upon receiving this news, Emperor Romanos ordered the Varangian Guard to prepare the army to march. Romanos planned to invade Italy. He wanted to recapture Bari, re-establish a Roman presence in Italy, and remove the Normans as a threat to the Empire. Initially, Romanos wanted Andronicus to take charge of organizing the army. Andronicus refused. Secretly, Andronicus was conspiring with his brother, Michael, and his uncle, John, to overthrow Romanos as the senior emperor. Before the Battle of Manticore, Romanos was in a precarious position in Constantinople. His failure to support games in the Hippodrome made him unpopular with the people, and his anti-corruption reforms made him many enemies. John Ducas managed to bribe a church official to poison the emperor. However, the plot was foiled by Empress Eudokia, who noticed the priest attempting to poison Romanos' food. Eudokia was actually a member of the Ducas family, being the mother of Michael. However, she was not informed of the plan to kill Romanos. John feared that Eudokia would be loyal to Romanos, as many years before she had gone against John's wishes to marry him. The Ducas family sent an assassin to kill the priest before their involvement could be revealed. Romanos had no time to investigate. Troubling news from the east forced him to act fast. In the Seljuk Empire, Malik Shah was overthrown. Several pretenders were now fighting a civil war. The Fatimid Caliphate sent an army to help place their ally on the Seljuk throne. This created the potential for a super-powerful Fatimid-Seljuk alliance. At the same time, Alexios was short on manpower and having difficulty building sufficient fortifications on the border. Romanos was short on time. He decided to begin the invasion of Italy with only a portion of his army fully mobilized. The Roman fleet set sail for Italy. 